A pleasant day everyone! Here is another learning episode, which is short teacher Marlene, and today's discussion is about simplifying radicals by reducing the index. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning! In my previous videos, I mentioned that radicals are in simplest form if the index of the radical is the lowest possible index. So in general form, if the nth root of x raised to m is to be simplified, we are going to write it into exponential form so that we have x raised to m over n. Then we are going to express the fractional exponent to the lowest term so that if the result is x raised to a over b, then we can write it into radical form the bit root of x raised to a. On other hand, if our given is n root of n root of b, where we can observe the double root of our radicand. We can simplify this by multiplying the indices n times m, which is mn. So we will arrive at the mnth root of p. Now let us put the following examples in simplest form. Let's say our given is the ninth root of x raised to 6. Express this into exponential form. We have x raised to 6 over 9. Then writing 6 over 9 into the lowest term, the common divisor of 6 and 9 is 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Therefore, we have x raised to 2 thirds. To transform this to radical form, we will have the root of x squared. So this is the simplest form. Now let's take a look at our next example. The fourth root of the cube root of x. So multiplying the indices, 4 times t, which is 12. Therefore, we have the 12th root of x. This is the simplest form. Now, let us look at example number 3. Our given is 6th root of 8. Let's write 8 into exponential form, which is 2 cubed. So the 6th root of 2 cubed. Then let us write this radical into exponential form, which is 2 raised to 3 over 6. Where we can put 3 over 6 into the lowest term, which is 1 half. So we have 2 raised to 1 half. Then transform this into radical form. So our index is 2. Therefore, that is now square root of 2. And this is the simplest form. Now, let us simplify number 4. Our given is 9 root of a raised to 15. Observe that the exponent 15 is higher than the index 9. Meaning, we have to simplify this first. So, separating 9th root of a raised to 15 into 9th root of a raised to 9 times 9th root of a raised to 6. So, getting the 9th root of a raised to 9, which is a, therefore, we will get a times a raised to 6 over 9. Then, let us have the lowest form of 6 over 9 which is now 2 thirds by dividing 6 and 9 by 3. And then, this is the radical form. So we have a 
times the cube root of a squared. Now let us proceed to number 5. Our given is 15th root of 27x cubed. First, let us express 27 into exponential form, which is 3 cubed. So observe that the exponent 3 is both visible in each exponent, so we can factor this out. And this way, we will arrive at 15th root of cube of 3x. Then let us transform this to rational form. We have 3x is raised to the exponent 3 over the index 15. Then we are going to simplify 3 over 15 by dividing this into 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the simplest form is 1 fifth. Then let us transform this into radical form. So getting the denominator 5 that serve as the index, so we will arrive at 5th root of 3x. And this is the simplest form. How about example number 6? Where our given is the 6th root of 8x cubed y raised to 6. Let us express 8 in exponential form to get 2 cubed x cubed y raised to 6. So observe for the common factor of the exponent. So our exponents are 3, 3, and 6. So the common is 3. So factor this out. We have 6 root of the cube of 2x y squared. Then transform this to rational exponent, we will get the quantity of 2xy squared is raised to 3 over 6. And then simplifying 3 over 6 into lowest term, by dividing each part into 3, we will get 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, we have the quantity of 2xy squared is raised to 1 half. Then change this into radical form. So we have the square root of 2xy squared. Now observe that we have y squared which is a perfect square. So let us separate the perfect square y squared to not perfect square which is 2x. And then getting our square root of y squared which is equal to y and copy the not perfect square so y times the square root of 2x is the simplest form well that's all i can share do not forget to practice in simplifying radicals the manner i have used here in these examples now for our food for thought, I want to share this. When one's expectations are reduced to zero, one really appreciates everything one does have. By Stephen Hawking. Thank you so much for watching. Your comments are highly appreciated. God bless everyone.